Hey guys, this is King Adu with Do News, bringing you a market update late at night, and hopefully some of you are still awake to enjoy this moment as we break through 1.30 on Ethereum. We blasted through that wall about 20-30 uh, minutes ago. I've been watching it closely to see what kind of momentum we have um, as we move on through that resistance level, and uh, it looks like uh, slow and steady will win the race on this one. Um, but it's really exciting. Um, I knew we needed to get past this 130, um, and uh, I knew we could do it. Um, I still have a target of about 150 uh, by the time consensus is done. However, if the right news drops, uh, 150, not unreasonable at all. Um, I actually, uh, because we've broken through this resistance, I need to go do an analysis and figure out how much we could actually go up. But um, we could wake up tomorrow as high as 40, 42. We could peak there. Um, but uh, w it's it's to be seen, and that's only um, uh, using predictive models. Anything can happen, of course, guys. Um, but um, that's just the feeling I have right now. I did want to give you an update on the transactions. Uh, recently, we went over this together, and we're going to go over it again because it's what actually matters. Um, uh, we did officially more than triple, more than triple since uh, late April, uh, our transactions. Our transactions per day, we're doing three times as many um, transactions, um, Ethereum transactions. That is literally uh, gas being used, uh, processes uh, happening, and uh, people actually using dApps, uh, more dApps coming online, um, all the ICOs, etc., etc. A lot is happening. And we did have a dip today, and that's to be expected because it's a Saturday and Sunday um, around the world. So we'll be looking for that to pick up again because the this is an acceleration guys this isn't a linear pattern this is an acceleration could we actually have four times the amount of transactions soon um, last time I did the math we were about 40 percent of total Bitcoin transactions and now we're getting really close to that 50 percent mark I'll have to go check the actual math on that um, Bitcoin is reaching all-time low dominance yet again right now uh, we added 2.2 billion dollars in one day guys we're adding 2.1 billion in 24 hours on a weekend guys this is getting a little bit out of control and we still don't even have any real financial institutions uh putting their money in yet guys uh this is kind of crazy um bitcoin dominance is down to 47 percent a lot of what you're seeing right now in the last few days is ripple removing itself from the hype and coming back to reality um we know Ethereum is the rightful number two. We all do. Um, many of us believe it will be the number one someday, uh, but it's definitely out of place here in number three. Uh, NIM is the true number four. We all know this. Um, people who really understand the uh, value of the blockchains and the technologies that are out there right now, people understand that NIM is the alternative to Ethereum, where Ethereum is like the new age internet. Um, NEM is more of the uh, digital economy, uh, uh, different, it's, it's, it's built for, uh, it's, just, it's just a little different, I guess you could say, than Ethereum as far as what it's setting out to do and its mission. And so I think it's going to do um, more business application type of solutions a lot better um, in the long run because they're building it for that purpose, whereas Ethereum is, um, you know, uh, really has a has a l much bigger belief system in what it can do to decentralize the world. Nim's trying to solve real business solutions. So, um, uh, and with that, Nim is also going to replace Ripple, in my opinion, as, as far as um, how well it works, how fast it is, um, and with the news breaking this last week about the association um, in Japan of the banks. Um, basically making the decision to go move forward with NIM, that's a huge indicator. That's that's big news. Uh, NIM is a lot more transparent um, than Ripple is, and NIM is more of a traditional blockchain solution than Ripple. And so 
be looking for Ripple to kind of start moving its way down and for us to sort this out and filter this back in order um, uh, over the next week or so, guys. Um, but right now, there's so much money in the market. Um, it doesn't matter what you have. You're probably making money. There will be a day of red eventually. But, um, you know, enjoy the ride. Have fun. Be safe. Be diversified. Um, and keep going at it. Now, here's what I also want to show you. We were covering this the other day. We have the actual Ethereum growth chart for addresses. And these are unique addresses. And as you can see, uh, we've essentially um, started accelerating here as well. Um, and that's a really positive sign. Uh, we're having exponential growth, guys. Um, this is all happening a lot faster than anyone predicted. Uh, you know, a lot of people were targeting uh, Ethereum at 150 by the end of the year. Um, most of those predictions are closer to 300 now. I've heard people say that we'll be 300 by midsummer. Um, I've heard people say we'll be 500, 700 by the end of the year. Um, I don't have um, a, a rock solid prediction myself um, because I know that we can be at 150 um, as soon as Monday or Tuesday. Now, something else to keep in mind. This is really important too. This is your Ethereum total daily gas used. Um, and as you can see, again, this acceleration of gas being used, um, you know, that's more dApps coming online. Um, and that's really, 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 really good, guys. That's what's going to really lock this in. It's what's going to stabilize this. Um, I'm assuming we'll have a pullback at some point. Um, but this is a really strong signal right here, the gas being used. So um, keep paying attention to uh, these uh, indicators. Um, the majority of people getting into Ether right now, let's say like 90% probably, um, don't have a clue what really matters here. You know, they just don't want to miss the next Bitcoin they're getting in. But when it comes down to it, uh, this, this is a platform that its value goes up every time a process happens. And um, here we have that happening more and more and more. And we will continue to see this exponential growth. Um, don't forget that Bitcoin can only do transactions. It's only me handing you a dollar. You can hand a dollar back to me. That's it. It's over. That's all it does. Um, Ethereum does that as well. But then you can take that dollar bill and go buy gas to go put it in your car or um, you can pay for a, a service, some type of automation service, um, a subscription of sorts maybe, um, you know, to, to pay for a system that exists, to, to pay for uh, shipping as an example in a real world. But at the end of the day, the currency does something. It doesn't just trade hands, it completes something valuable for you it's uh, it's in a convenience that it's giving you or it's giving you additional value of some sort so um, keep that in mind guys so when we're looking at um, ethereum right now and as it approaches that 50 percent of bitcoin's transactions you got to remember that each transaction is actually worth a lot more than a bitcoin transaction right because it's actually doing something. Now, sure, there's a lot of people just moving money around, but it's those actual value add transactions that's the real kicker. That's how come right now Ethereum is drastically undervalued. It's still going to go up and up and up um, as people, as that 90% that don't get it yet, finally figure that out finally come to the understanding that this isn't about money whatsoever this is not a currency this is not a cryptocurrency um this is much more than that um so anyhow guys want to bring you a super late night update um it's been a long day for me so i'm gonna let you go and i'm gonna get some rest myself um tomorrow um, i have a video i've been promising you guys ready to go um i'll be i'll be presenting um some uh, Microsoft Azure um, blockchain technologies to you guys, ones that I believe could be impacted significantly by 
the conference um, and uh, we'll just kind of go over those and I'll just give you my thoughts on those so um, maybe some investment opportunities but if anything definitely opportunities to go learn more I definitely think that there's some good things to be learned on those so make sure you subscribe come back and we'll cover that tomorrow um, also I'll be be on the lookout my steam it friends I need to do an uh, you know I need to do an introduction to steam it and to uh, introduce myself to steam it I have yet to do that yet it's really important to me that I do that I've been working on what I want to say and how I want to say it because um, it's kind of one of those things you only do once on steam it but I uh, definitely be looking for that guys um, speaking of steam it Go down below, follow me on Steamit, please. It's awesome when you do, and when you uh, give me a vote up, it means the world to me. I really appreciate everyone um, and your support. Um, I, um, you guys are using uh, the Amazon links down below. I thank you so much for that. Um, I've, I've been getting donations and upvotes on Steamit, and um, you guys are just amazing, and I'm so grateful. And, you, and so many people are, are joining this channel and joining our party, um, joining the conversation. And if you guys are new to the channel and you don't know this yet, I love having a conversation with you. Leave a comment. You're going to hear back from me. Um, you can leave a comment here. You can, you can hit me up and steam it. But um, whichever you're comfortable with, hit me up because I just love talking about this. And I love talking to you guys. It's why I started the channel, was to connect with people who um, understand what this stuff is, understand and believe in it, and know where it's headed, and uh, can get pumped up about it. Because uh, if you're like me, you can often go, go to work, maybe, and feel quite lonely in, in, in that you're experiencing something that's very profound and special, unique, and actually game-changing and world-changing. And it's not even like a question. Um, it's absolutely reality. Uh, we actually sit down and we can play with these new technologies and see them in action and understand them while the rest of the world um, sits idle and someday they will be introduced to it but for now we're kind of the select few and so I really do appreciate you guys uh, it means the world to me to be able to connect with you guys so thank you so much um, I'm gonna let you go and as always I am the king of dew and may the force be with you have a good night.